Throw your aromatase inhibitor in the bin. Have you heard this before? Social media, it's very easy to make things black and white, but a lot of times we have to operate really in a gray area. This is kind of where the aromatase inhibitor falls. More of the issue is that people are using it out the gate and overly suppressing estradiol, which has poor health outcomes in general for a long-term user of high super physiological androgens. This doesn't mean to never use them either as there's situations that are gonna happen in coaching where you need something quickly to address estradiol, or you might have someone that just has extremely low tolerance to testosterone, or maybe you're in a contest prep, and you need to see if bringing down estradiol acutely would cause some type of improvement in physique by dropping some water, and before we can even pull labs to see if that's an issue. And this is where we might be able to trial something with the aromatase inhibitor. So situationally, these things could be utilized, but this is something which you probably don't wanna be living on forever, and also making these adjustments more so off just your testosterone dosage rather than making assumptions using an AI. So there's more of a pro and con list to these things versus a black and white or never and always. If you wanna see more what the pros and cons are and to cycle design with and without an aromatase inhibitor, check out our J3U PD module.